Right now, it's a waiting game. Sheriff's deputies could arrive at any moment to evict the Rory family, but protesters say not without a fight. David Lane arrives early Tuesday morning to join the fight to save the Rory family's Snellville home. It's, it's an atrocity. It's like a crime against people. Nearly two dozen Occupy Atlanta protesters have camped out at the home since Monday. They want to shine a light on what they call wrongful foreclosures. Tawana Rory says when her family tried to refinance, the bank instead foreclosed. Misled, uh, betrayed, um, and for the sake of what? Protesters say they won't back down when deputies arrive. Some even say they'll risk jail, although Lane says count him out. I got a three-year-old son and a one-year-old daughter, and I'm one of the fortunate people who can work to sustain some kind of quality of life right now. As neighbors watch the protest unfolding, many say they welcome Occupy Atlanta to their street. So many people in the same boat, and we don't know what to do. Georgia has the fourth highest foreclosure rate in the country. In Snellville, Jocelyn Connell, Better Mornings Atlanta.